I'm Christine Coletta. Uh, my husband Steve Lorney and I own Okanagan Crush Pad. Today we are here at the Switchback Vineyard, uh, which is in Summerland, British Columbia. It's a six acre vineyard, which is planted specifically to Pinot Gris, Clone 52. And that is a clone that comes from France. And uh, this is the resulting wine that was made from our vineyard. And so what are we looking at? Uh... What grapes am I looking at here? These are the Pinot Gris? These are the Pinot Gris, and uh, these were planted in 2006. And you can see that they're just turning color. Pinot Gris is um, uh, sort of a grayish uh, uh, hue to the grapes when they're fully mature. And the interesting thing about this particular vineyard is uh, that we're beginning to see that uh, Pinot Gris is a mutation of Pinot Noir. And we're beginning to see some mutations. So we're, as you, if you walk through the vineyard, you're seeing some Pinot Noir grapes that are cropping up. And uh, here you can see this white pet bunch here is uh, mutated back to a, a white variety. So it's a very interesting little grape. It's very finicky, but it really loves being in the Okanagan Valley. It does really well here. And we're really proud of the wine that we make with, uh, from this vineyard. So welcome to Okanagan Crush Pad. Uh, you've seen the vineyard, now we're going to taste some wines. And the first wine that we're going to try is our Switchback Pinot Gris, so the vineyard that we just came from. This is the wine that we make from that vineyard. And this is our 2012. It is fermented in our concrete tanks and aged there for uh, about eight or nine months before it's bottled. And it's also made with uh, wild native yeast from the vineyard. So it's got a really beautiful aroma and delicious creamy mid palate. It's a, just a lovely wine. I always think I just would love to have um, mussels, steamed mussels with, mm -hmm. in cream sauce. Girls, what do you think? It's super fresh. Yes. Yeah, super crisp. I love it. Yeah. The sweetness smooth. is perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's yes, perfect. it's a, most of our wines have a residual sugar of about uh, Two. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's really, you know, we don't make overly sweet wines. This is gorgeous. Yeah. This is yeah. really good. It's, it's, it's one of my favorites, it really is. So the next wine that we're going to try mm -hmm. is our Wild Ferment. And that is a wine that is the very top part of the vineyard, um, which um, is at the, at the top part of this block. What we do, this is an organically farmed vineyard. And so we are but we've got it into five different unique farming parcels, and we harvest each of them separately, and we ferment them separately with a different end goal. So this particular lot um, we call bones because it's the backbone of the of the wine, and it was so delicious that we kept 200 cases out. Um, it's called wild ferment because again we made it with wild fermentation, and it's done uh, exclusively in concrete. So this was a wine that we made only in 2012. It will likely never be made again. It was just an experiment to see what the individual lots looked like. And we had about 200 cases of it. Mmm. So you can see the relationship to the Pinot Gris. They, it has a lot of the same characteristics, but it's just really intense. Very complicated aromas and flavors. Yeah. And again, that just that unbelievable mid palette. Mm -hmm. and long lasting finish to it. So there's a lot of depth. That's there is a mm -hmm. lot of depth. That's what is basically the common word that's used to describe that one. Yes. It really just like resonates on the nose yeah. and like it's still on my palate. Yes. It's like yes, it very has, it, it has a long finish. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just again it's a really delicious wine and we're really excited about it because it's just kind of a uh, is a really good showcase for what we've been trying to get to for the last three years in the vineyard, using the concrete tanks, and also our winemaking philosophy and how it's changed over the years. That's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And then we have one more wine, which is our Pinot Noir, and uh, we just won a governor, a lieutenant governor's award for this wine, yes. and we're really proud of it. It comes from a little vineyard which is called Canyon View, not far from here. And it's a special vineyard where they grow Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Very interesting. It's been terraced um, and slopes down into Trout Creek Canyon. 
and it's just a very special place, and the grapes that come from this are very, very unique. So this wine uh, is a 2011, and this was one of the very first wines we made when we moved into Okanagan Fresh Pad in 2010. Now I'm going to be curious to hear what you ladies think of this, because this is one of my favorite wines. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Pinot Noir is only second to Rosé for me. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's got all of those classic um, mm -hmm. cherry tones, mm -hmm. fresh, vibrant, and, but there's like just a warmth and a depth yeah. and complexity to it as well. I'm sure it's the warmth. Yeah. yeah. So this is one of our favorite wines, and we're really excited that this was one of the very first wines we made here and also in, in our concrete tanks. So this was a pure experiment, and we were really thrilled that it turned out well. Ladies, what do you think? It's very warm and round in the mouth. Mmm, I agree with that. Yeah. It's very round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that also has quite a long finish also. Yeah. yeah. And there's a bit of a cherry flavor to it. Awesome. Right. Right. Well, this is just a snapshot of the experience here at the Okanagan Crush Pad Tasting Room. Definitely. Christine, girls, thank you very much.